Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Making a bundled spindle is a pretty easy thing to do. I'll leave some links in the description and then at the end of this video to where you can see some of the other styles that I've made from taped up bundled spindles to more natural ones. All right, I got six pretty good pieces. I picked out ones that didn't have knots and holes in them. And as you see, they're stacked, opposite ends are stacked. And I wanna go ahead and tape that up and we'll go ahead and cut it into, a, I'm shooting for about a three quarter inch diameter spindle. And uh, as you hear, the wind is still blowing. We just had a bad windstorm come through and just knock a bunch of limbs out of the trees. There's leaves everywhere. So the, the wind's gonna be blowing. You're gonna be hearing that. You're gonna be hearing neighbors with leaf blowers. So we'll do the best we can under these circumstances. All right, and like I've shown you many times before, you want the bearing block in, you want it to be on center line, this way and 90 degrees out. And then we're gonna do three levels of facets to make the rounded uh, hot, hot tip of the spindle. Coming down about three, about three eighths of an inch. And then I'll come up half of that. And then come up half of that. All right, nice long spindle like I like them. That's a 12 inch spindle. Let's go ahead and make the fireboard now. got the tip with a smaller diameter than the rest of the spindle. Let's go ahead and try it. You hear some kids playing in the background, that's all right. You know that I operate here in my yard, in a neighborhood, so there's gonna be, there's gonna be noise. Let's give it a try. Got a new bearing block here. Fat wood. Hopefully that tip's gonna hold up. You see where it's got a void right there? I'll try to go gentle with it so it doesn't break out the tip. Shim material on shim material, showing you how the bundled spindle technique works. Usually it's just the spindle that's bundled, but today we have a bundled fireboard also.
adapt, adapt, adapt. Let's see, if, let's see if we can press down harder and get a better burn in now. Now we got a good burn in. Let's save this dust. Let me go ahead and cut my notch. I don't know, I might take some of that shoulder off, but I think I need the support. Oh yeah, we got a we got a good ember. Good. Oh, that tip looks perfectly shaped. And yeah, we were we were bottomed out in the fat wood, but as soft as this is, it needed it needed those shoulders. Usually, you don't want those shoulders but it needed it in this case. Wind take it to flames. Doing a good job so far. And I'm not going to use that. That could be used as another spindle, but it's shorter than what I like. So, we'll stick it in the fire. Turned out pretty good, didn't it? All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one wheel. Catch you on the next one.